Aquarius, it's the Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing your reading. And it is the 12th of October. We are in Libra season. I hope the season is being nice and kind to you. It's been beautiful autumn days over here. So looking forward to do your reading. Oh, so I just shuffled and I thought, oh, I was doing well today with the shuffling. <laughs> These cards are a little bit thick. Um, Aquarius, uh, this is for your Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. This is a general reading. It's not about a specific person, but it could be past, future, present, you name it, that shows up in the readings. So you decide. If you want to look uh, into a specific person, I did an all signs reading uh, two days ago, and this reading covers uh, to the end of the month. Um, yeah, so uh, take a look at that, uh, that reading. Um, yeah, you will see it. <laughs> I don't have that many all signs. It's only the one. Okay, but now this is your uh, personal reading, uh, Aquarius. I have already shuffled, so I think this will be enough on screen. I always do that to connect with you. I'm using the Rainbow Heart Tarot deck. It's old and it's one of my favorite decks that I start. Uh, well, one of the first decks that I used when I started the channel. Anyway, Aquarius. <laughs> so, Ten of Swords. And a situation has happened in your life that could have really floored you. Floored you to the ground and you had to pick out one and one sword. But now you're racing again with the judgment as well. You're seeing things different. There will be good news when it comes to a new opportunity and a financial situation here that you will grab. It says grab it with both hands. Uh, I'm going to lay out the cards before I start to analyze this time because it's telling me to do so. Not analyze, I mean read. <laughs> So, okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you have a person that's showing up in your reading where in their environment they could be dealing with depression, they could be dealing with, at the moment this person could be coming out of depression, if something's difficult to happen and they are trying to drag themselves out of the situation, there could have been arguments, the devil, limiting beliefs, it's like anger, it's like that when anger gets to you and it gets you down as well. Uh, with the moon in reverse, things are becoming clearer. When it comes to their feelings for you, this person sees you maybe as their twin flame or someone they feel at home with. This person is holding on to you. This person's intentions and actions is the lovers and the nine of pentacles. Their aim here is to, <clears throat> well, they want to come forward to you abundant and single. But the thing is, in their environment, they can't really get out of a grasp someone has on them or it has on their mind here so that's why there is delay uh i see here aquarius with you is that you are also coming out of this ten of swords um you are balancing something here that could be difficult energies in your environment here but i feel that uh you have enough self-love to come out of it you're seeing and feeling clear clear clearly what to do here so it's different when if you show up um if it was the queen of cups in reverse for instance with the five of swords it can be really difficult to have a challenging environment and stress if you don't understand the self-love as well so it has to do with usually how you feel so i feel that you are coming out of a period aquarius where you had to pull the knives out of your back and, and it's still you feel a little bit shaky that ten of swords can also be you come out of it an illness for instance or something to do with your mind however here it's, it's not so physical so uh, aquarius 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 we have here the devil and the moon in their environment the person you're dealing with uh, they could have capricorn gemini pisces in their chart possibly Okay, I need to take a shuffling course. <laughs> you would think that I would be able to shuffle better since I do that all the time, but I don't. Not as well as I would like to. <laughs> I want to do it how they do it in Vegas. <laughs> like when they play poker, I want to do it like that. So, okay. Yes. So. Something happened, I don't know if you met this person <clears throat> around the COVID <coughs> situation, I'm sorry, uh, pandemic, that's what I was trying to spit out. They have masks on. They could have met you beginning of the pandemic. Random, but yeah, get that. 
Okay, this person is coming out of hiding, isolation. This person is healing. They could be healing from addictions. There is someone here that is on their case. It looks like this person, while they have been struggle, struggling with addiction, bad health, perhaps <clears throat> mental health, I'm picking up. They have also pulled in, I mean, they have also either remained in unhealthy relationships. <clears throat> I'm sorry, now I'm getting throat. Uh, I will stop the camera if it continues. Coming out of unhealthy relationships that they are now com coming to terms with what it is that they have to do. This person has feelings for you. Again, I'm getting this five of ones. My goodness. I'm going to grab a glass of water and I'll be right back. Let's try again. <clears throat> this time it is not because of a cold. This time it is because I did smoke cigarettes over the last two weeks, which is very irresponsible. Okay, so this person have had a difficult time, difficult time. I'm seeing someone here that is struggling either with addictions and addiction can come in many forms. Financials, having limiting beliefs, feeling so down in the dumps that they can't get themselves up. This person could be struggling with something to do with their mind as well. And where it is not so easy to take a stand because it's hit their confidence and um, personally I, I, I understand how it's uh, it's it's not as easy as uh, you know you when I was young really young like especially in my 30s I used to always say oh god I, I could just get a new job or like you know the mind of I think in our 30s let's say just giving an example I think it's very much like yeah just easy to change, easy to adapt, you know, as long as you are, don't have the flu or, or anything else that bogs you down, you can just easily switch things up. But then if you have something impacting you, it is very, very hard. Uh, and I'm, I, I witness it uh, myself. And I feel here, you're dealing with someone here that in addition to perhaps have something to do with their health, they have been raised to a belief system that now in addition to that, so there's too much that are trying to fight. It's, it's like really, there's a, they, this person probably need like a, an energy healing. They could need a medication. They could need, there's a lot of stuff they need, but they are struggling with these problems on their own. So that's, that's what they're dealing with. However, in their feelings with you, they know that something was unjust that was imposed on you and you were the person that came into their life to help them as well as give them love. So their intentions, you know, it was to have love, uh, to grow this relationship and to be with you. But there was also someone here that they pulled into the connection or someone that was around them because they didn't make a choice. And because they didn't make a choice, they decided to stay in a bad relationship. They stayed in a bad relationship with themselves, with their mind, but also then not to analyze that the person that was with them, because, you know, again, when we feel bad, we attract, we can attract bad, not always, but you know, that can also happen. So I see here, it, it, it was a link. It's been a link to everything in this person's life, basically. And they are now trying to fight against this confusion their mind it looks like this person is um healing though and and while while they are healing this person is feeling more more sure wh wh where they are going they are able to to take action but there is a situation they haven't really fought up uh, been fighting off yet or pushed out of their life. It's it's a process. Uh, with the seven of wands, please. So this it could be that someone they work with, or this could be a family business. Some you could deal with someone that well, that's a pro, I get the word promiscuous. I get the word not the word, but I get 
they could be in a line of business that with someone as well, like there is just something here. It's like bearing it in the nude, like nude, or there is, um, like fighting against this maybe bad reputation as well. Um, I see here the three of swords, there's pain around this situation. Um, yeah. Okay. So there is a relationship here that it's been stagnant and there is a decision that this has to end because again, they are realizing what is doing to their health, their mind and so on and so on. It has to, to do with this person's healing, their journey of healing. And as this person is healing, they are looking at their environment, they are looking at what they're involved in, and they want out. You know, uh, I don't really inv go into deep details on, on readings, and I try also to stay away from not so lighthearted energies because I just, I'm not, it's not just my, my style, but this could be anything from, you know, someone maybe being involved in a business that is. Mm, well, I said the word promiscuous, where there is some kind of taboo. Uh, it could be something that is to do with like secret as well. So this could be a, a sort of a, anything to do with like a, what, what you call a sexual uh, type of business, whether it is a, um, mm, what is, well, it's like, I don't even know what it's called. Is it OnlyFans or uh, this could be, is like a gentleman's club. This could be, you know, uh, a, a situation where there is some kind of um, trade involved that is, you know, it's a bit hush hush here as well. So there is something like that that they are keeping to themselves, but it's affecting their mind. So in the past, if there's some kind of addictions involved, it was whatever that is, if it is an actual substance they take, or if it is a way of thinking, they don't want that anymore. They don't want to be there anymore. The time has run out. So this can also be someone, they reach a certain age and they're like, okay, that was all cool to do when I was younger, you know, something like that. But there could be troubles with the law as well. So as this is all coming to the surface now, they are, they know you, uh, you are on a distance from them. Uh, again, I'm picking again up twin flame vibes here. High priestess, you don't speak to each other, but feels like this is, you know, that you feel like home to this person. Connection here is very sacred. It is that they, if they listen to the higher self, they know you are the one for them. They know that you have a part of that, like heartstring is linked to you, Aquarius. All right, so, um, I see that also, like you know, they know that you are the one. But they also can't figure you out and that could drive them mad as well. So it's like that, that that's part of their spiritual path, um, their new spiritual path or their spiritual lesson as well. So Aquarius, you have the two of pentacles and the two of swords in reverse. The world, yes, a new chapter is starting here. There, Things will be different in your environment moving forward. In your feelings, there are, you are sort of thinking, who is in my life again? Who is uh, around me? Who, who? There's someone around you that's being very strategic. You are being very strategic as well. There is some kind of hidden connection involving here, Aquarius. With the world here, yeah, for many of you, you are looking for new opportunities. The king of pentacles. So that could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with or a Virgo. It feels like someone here that have been hidden to you, they are going to come out. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> it's the queen of the dam. <laughs> I'm getting into the Halloween theme already. So the three of wands. Okay, your burdens are going to be lifted here. You're connecting with someone from your past. There is a spiritual awakening here. You have been strategic in terms of a person you are avoiding someone. You could have also been dealing with someone that was stealing your energy as well. Someone that was hidden, but they were like sucking off your energy. Somehow, 
uh, but this is you, you're, this is being released now. You're being also very straight to the point. You're getting out of your head. You're dealing with problems uh, verbally. You're telling, you're speaking your opinion, even if it's a harsh opinion. You seem to be voicing your opinion, Aquarius. Um, yeah, I think I will use this one. Okay, so we have your King of Pentacles. A person, for some of you, if you've been dealing with someone that have Earth in their chart, but it don't have to be, this is someone here, you go a long way back. They know of you, you know them really well. They could be born the year of the rabbit. Uh, I'm picking up uh, as well. Um, I see a frog. Why, why, why is the word French frog coming to my mind? <laughs> With our French. Um, year, rat, year of the rat, it could be, it's year of the rat, year of the rabbit, year of the cat, I know year of the cat and year of the rabbit, it's the same thing, year of the rat is different, year of the rat's uh, Sagittarius, year of the rabbit's Pisces, mm, there's someone, something to do with you and a person here that you have a special, uh, like a bond to, okay, it could also be the person that is now growing up or they are coming out of this phase where they are healing and they might be coming out of another commitment as well so they when you see this person here they're not going to be the same person as you want seen we have the ace of pentacles aquarius we have the three of pentacles and we have the judgment all right there is a new opportunity when it comes to work there is a yeah a, a, like a group uh, effort here as well yeah signing a contract there is uncertainties uh, around uh, a situation here, Aquarius. All right, so, okay. Waiting for justice, waiting for a new beginning, not feeling entirely sure. Uh, for many of you, there could have been an unfair ruler. So it might be an unfair boss, but they are the boss, so they decide, but they it's clear that they are not deciding well or that there, there is a consequence to their decisions. Okay, so um, you could be in the middle of a work situation that has to do with a new beginning where you have to follow a certain process, maybe complained or uh, it's something about that you have to take some time out here. But I see things are being resolved for you. For many of you, you are not in the next week or so. You might not be thinking so much about love, but it's more about having a new beginning that is the beginning that you want here. A new work situation as well here is here so okay I feel here Aquarius that someone have secret feelings for you very secret feelings they could have Pisces or Libra in their chart it's very subtle it's so subtle that only you will pick it up it's super subtle <laughs> so much that I can barely pick it up they could definitely have air elements in their chart here I feel that this person again I feel that this person here is someone their intentions is to uh, well their intentions is to step out and they want to be the emperor for you but this is a while um, like a while away that's what I'm getting before that, there is a difficult situation around them that they are resolving and there is healing taking place. But in the midst of a, if, if there is a legal matter going on here, it could be around you or them. If you're dealing with someone in a work situation or in a particular environment where you have to keep it hidden, yeah, that's, there's something hidden. Hidden feelings cannot express feelings. They're being very strategic very, very strategic here, uh, Aquarius. I feel there could be two people around you as well. Anything else there for Aquarius? Can we get a card on the King of Pentacles, please? Okay, there could be someone here that used to be a player uh, in your eyes, at least, and you're gonna see this person wanting commitment. That's for a few of you. Uh, can I please get a card on the Knight of Cups, please? Yeah, this person could have Virgo in their chart or this person here is someone that is going through a breakup here. They're going following their heart. So yeah, there is one person here. The person could have Virgo in their chart, as mentioned. They're making a decision to move away from a relationship, male or female, uh, and they're taking this leap of faith. There is a few people in a third party situation here, Aquarius. Maybe that's why you're staying away, but somehow they all have uh, the goalpost is you basically. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, 
Halloween is uh, bringing, <laughs> bringing up the past, but I don't really, I see here that you are, you have cleared your energy and as you clear your energy and slowly but surely coming out for your new beginning, there is someone around you that is, it's not bad energy, it's not at all, but it's like very secret, secret uh, new beginning starting. And there is a couple of stragglers, but I feel like it's not really relevant. It, it, the reason I'm saying that is because of the seven of cups. So, so it's like there is someone here, there is a, a person here that's trying to confuse you trying to confuse you and that could be someone that's right under your nose doesn't have to even to be a person that is to do with love at all there could just be someone here that constantly plays games and you've you know you've been been at it with this person before and you are you you are done with with that but it's it, it could be there's a thief here in the midst there's a thief here that want to it, it's jealous of what you have uh, it's jealous of your skills it's jealous of what you deserve, imprisonment, concern, all right? So, okay, I'm going to pull a few more cards on that, but I like not to go into the energy too much. Um, so we have here the thief and the imprisonment. Something's going to happen around the, the 24th and the 29th. A year of the wrath I'm getting here. Okay, there is someone around you that constantly gets away with stuff uh, and that has raised concerns, okay? It's, it's a raised concern kind of person. Now, obviously, in the in the sense of real life, there is someone here that is, um, there could be in a work situation here uh, around you. You know who it is and you know that someone is just constantly playing this cat and mouse in your environment. You have someone like that around you and um, it's, it's someone... That is very difficult to deal with. It's not straightforward how to deal with this person. It's like, this is someone that is a, is a con man, con woman, con. Like they 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 just do, do as they please and, and they lie without bat batting an eyelid. But you see this person, you might have been floored once or twice by this person. And even though you don't want anything to do with this person, they still are at it. You know, rats can be very damaging. Uh, so, uh, because I keep seeing the, the rat, but um, actually I'll tell you, well, I'll tell you the story. Um, years ago, years ago when I uh, was very young, anyway, <laughs> I live in a different establishment, uh, there was a leakage in the bathroom where I used to share the flat. And um, I, I reported the leak and I got back from work. This must be about 15 years ago. Anyway, that doesn't make a difference. And then I got in and the whole bathroom was torn apart. And except the bathtub was there and, and I was fi fixing it. Anyway, I, I asked, what is going on? And basically there were six rats that was behind the toilet that this was a basement flat that he somehow came down and was like chewing on, on these things, right? And then they were like, okay, we're fixing it. So anyway, so all, all, all was fixed. And I went to the bathroom in the evening and just telling the story, okay, I, I regret telling it. And there is a scratching sound underneath the bathtub. <laughs> underneath the bathtub, there's a scratching sound. And the, the person, the plumber said, don't worry about it. It's just a rat. It's trapped underneath the bathtub. Those those years, I was I was in my probably just early thirties. This thick skin. All right, all right. I you know went to bed. I remember going to the oh, right, I remember going to the doctor. So I'm like, can I get something to calm down because uh, I have rats in my house. All right, there's one under the bathtub. Anyway, I went to brush my teeth. That was <laughs> the rat is sitting on the sink looking at me. Whilst I'm brushing my teeth, oh my God, I was screaming. I went out of the flat, screaming and shouting in the streets, like, there what's going on? <laughs> I called the police for the rat. And they're like, it's, you can't call the police. It's like the pest control. Oh my God. And anyway, the scare of that, it stays with me forever. Like, I had loads of different pests. Not anymore. I uh, obviously <laughs> no, I live in a different establishment. But anyway, I'm just getting here. I don't know why I'm telling you this story. It is because you have a rat. You have like that rat that I had underneath the bathtub. It's going to bloody find its way out and it's going to 
pee in your face, all right? You know they can just go for your throat, this, that, and the other. Okay, so there is a rat around you. The rat is gone, is out of your face. You don't see it, but it's still up to no good behind the scenes. You have someone like that. You have a hidden enemy, basically. And they, you have got one up on them, uh, Aquarius. You have an hidden enemy here that you've got one up on. And the energy is still here like the rat that will find its way out. But the thing is, again, that rat in that house that I rented, obviously, we got rid of it. Anyway, but there is someone here that is going to do something one more time to you that is like that, where you're like, and I'll be damned. See, so you're here with your sword. This person may or may not be a romantic interest, but this is someone that could have feelings for you. Yeah, we have the king of pentacle in reverse. Someone here has beef with you. We have the emperor in reverse. Someone here has beef with you, Aquarius. <laughs> you decide who that is. Could be a father figure. It could be a manager. It could be... Uh, you know, a karmic person, all right, Aquarius. But you are protected here. Just So just imagine that you are. Someone here is furious because there is them losing you. Them losing the access to you. Their spells aren't working anymore. It's an ending here. It will be an ending. But this person here is coming out one more time to steal something from you. Seven of Swords. Steal something small here. This person here is not to be trusted. Aquarius. Be careful of this person here. This person could be right under your nose. All right. This person is right under your nose. They are like a pest. Whoever this person is, they have... Like their reason for like revenge or whatnot, their reason for revenge or their reason to be up all, all up in your grill, it, it, it does makes no sense. This person is just wherever they are, they cause damage. Sorry. Um, so yeah, you have someone here that is, okay, this is an environment around you. Be careful for this person coming in. For many of you, Aquarius, this is someone that is dealing with addiction problems, codependency. Okay, they are going to contact you. They're going to contact you here and uh, this person brings that ratty energy, whether it's them or something promiscuous that is around them. They bring no good. This person is very intrusive, however. So... How are you going to protect yourself from this energy? It is saying here, do look over your shoulder. Be strategic. Don't like go the other way. See, there is a road here. There is a road um, underneath there. See, see here. And I feel here, there's like your lantern is there. Maybe you left a lantern so that someone can find you as well. Maybe you want to be found. Maybe you're saying here that, oh, I don't want to be found, but you, there is something here about, okay, you, you are leaving. There is something here for someone to be curious enough to come after you. So it can be for some of you that this person is reaching out, social media, whatnot. And if you know that this person here is someone that you have cut ties with before, it says, um, then then you cut ties with them. If it's someone else here that's in your environment, it's quite hard to, I just see that it's, it's someone that you cannot relax around. It's just the pest. That's why I get back to my rat story. <laughs> oh goodness. Rats. Um, that, that's there, but it's more of a, how can I say? It's like, um, the damage isn't that great off. Like, it's just that you don't need the damage at all around you. You don't need the, you don't need the drama here, uh, Aquarius. Anything else for Aquarius? Anything else for Aquarius? Uh, 
Um, yes, it's it's a new job, new love. It's a wise move. Spending wisely as well. Ace of Pentacles. So yeah, there is a there there is a fortune coming towards you, and we have here needing time alone, more independence, seeking counsel from wise ones, coming out of manipulations and stress and interruptions. So you you could have maneuvered in a very tricky environment yet. Yeah. All right. So I'm seeing here underneath you there could have been poor. This could be poor uh, boss. Is again again you miss abusing authority. Someone sending someone to do the damage. So there is like a teamwork to do the damage. So whoever is, you are the one here with the star. So I see here, this, there could be a, like there's people here attacking the one with the star, you, and, and just making you the problem. Uh, and, and so that you, you are not really, you, you can't really stay there anymore. It's like, okay, I need to change neighborhood. I need to change workplace. This is not going to change. If there is a team effort to screw me over, then, you know, like it, say if the rats that I had, if, if there, there were many of them, <laughs> it would be difficult. So I feel here you could decide to make a move. You could decide to make a move here, Aquarius. There is a transition period. Yeah. And this will be uh, yeah, it's an exciting new beginning here with a death. But it's bringing you to abundance. I love you unconditionally. I lost myself for a little while. I'm becoming a better person. I'm so attracted to you. So it's clear here. I feel a romantic. This is a romantic uh, interest you have. That is to be part of the new chapter that is that's coming in. But there is someone here that is interrupting the um, the flow. That's a different situation. You some of you have you have all outgrown an environment, and it's time for you to spread your wings elsewhere. Maybe you've manifested a new beginning elsewhere, uh, and you know that you're not supposed to be there, but it's that. You almost, it's, 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 it's again, I'm going back to the rat story. If the rats didn't disappear, I'll, I'll move house anyway. But <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, it's like that's just as one more thing it, it takes. All right. So if, if the pest keeps coming where you are, you just know that, okay, if you, if you believe that in the light, if you, if you believe what you see when you use the lantern, Maybe you don't even need the lantern, all right? You have put, left it down there. You have already found the, the road. Maybe you're leaving the lantern and then you are taking the road that is following your higher self, Aquarius. Yeah, with the three of swords. I feel here, the person that is coming into your life, maybe they didn't follow their intuition. I feel someone stayed stuck. Uh, and they didn't follow their intuition. We have the king of pentacles. Okay, so someone here is going through... I mean, it's a whole lot of drama. Somehow it's all up in your business, Aquarius. King of pentacles, please. My goodness. Aquarius, what is going on? Halloween came early. <laughs> king of swords. This per You have a lot of... You have a lot of interest on you here. The three of swords, the ace of swords, and the six, sorry, the ten of, um, of cups. This person here is pursuing you regardless of their situation. And that could be the noise that they are, they are being chased by a lot of noise here. I'm seeing that they could potentially cause some problems here by... By doing that, it, it, it's the way they do it. Or they have to do something that it will be... Someone here is, is, is taking action towards you and it's triggering uh, something here. The death, yeah. It's triggering this new beginning. Aquarius, Queen of Pentacles. The high priestess. You can have earth in your chart. 
following your inner self here. You know this, you and this person, you share a deep bond. Yeah. Yeah, Knight of Wands in reverse. I feel here as well, you have an hidden enemy. The hidden enemy will be there like the pest that I explained. Mm -hmm. The Empress. Okay, so what it's saying here is that for you to evolve, you have to... I said something about a frog. Kiss a few frogs for sure. Kiss a few frogs. You have filled up the cup. You know how to, to look after yourself as well. It, you are going to find out, Aquarius, that there is a few karmic situations around you. You're going to find out who, who and what is triggering that. It's an environment here that is unjust, constantly trying to get one, one up on the other, could be using an institution as a reason, all right? Uh, there is someone here being very selfish. I see that there could be, again, like uh, there is a unfair situation happening around you here. I feel this is actually separate from the King of uh, Pentacles here someone from the past. So, so you have a, there is something about an environment that's going to be different to all of you, but I feel the person that you're moving forward that have feelings for you, they could have Virgo, definitely have Virgo in their chart, but there's a whole lot of, whole lot of BS that is happening and you'll be witnessing it. However, your intentions, Aquarius, so keep the intentions and that is, okay, not to be affected by that as much as you can and, and you could feel a little bit trapped here. I feel that there is a stressful situation around you that you could be forced out of. And it's also saying here, be very clear with your intentions. Something here is about um, someone like suffocating your talents. It's an outgrowing an environment. The lovers and the high priestess here and the queen of pentacles. This love, uh, subconsciously, you know that this will lead to a commitment. It's not something maybe you can speak about here. There's some gossip around the situation. There is an ending here. There's a contract and there is a new commitment coming here as well. This is someone that is becoming a better person. Wow. As always, Aquarius, there's a lot of different messages in your <laughs> reading. I would suggest also, uh, again, uh, check out the All Signs reading because there, are, yeah, there is a little bit more about a specific person whilst this one have a lot of messages. So Aquarius... Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment and uh, have a great weekend.